Hi, Many Chatters. This is Trivse Hirongarro here on our amazing CTX webinar with Many Chat and Meta. What is CTX? Hmm. Click to something. Click to Messenger, click to Instagram DM, click to WhatsApp. And in the last class, we talked about how you can connect your ManyChat Messenger automations to your Facebook ads. So in case you missed that one or you said, mm, I'm going to skip it because I already know how to, I highly recommend you go watch it because you never know there's going to be a cool new trick that you didn't know about. And I taught you my favorite way to do them. So I highly recommend you go see it in case you didn't. In this one, we're going to be talking about how you can connect your ManyChat Instagram DM automations to your Instagram ads. So imagine this, you are running an ad of your new location, your new office, your new store. And whenever people click send message, you can automatically send a flow, a ManyChat flow that says, hi, we would love to see you on the store. Click here and it's going to open Waze, Google Maps, anything for you to drive to come see us. So let's learn how to do that. Awesome. So we have learned how to connect it to Facebook Messenger. We have learned how to use the Ads Manager. Now we're going to connect Instagram to your advertisement. So this section is going to be ads that click to Instagram linked to your ManyChat automations. We all know Instagram. It's the destination where people connect with friends, brands, and things they love. You go on Instagram when you want inspiration, when you want to send your friends stories, when you want to go through reels. But most importantly, it's where a lot of people go to connect with the businesses they want to purchase from. So this is where your brand can connect intimately with your community. When people go into your Instagram profile, it's like window shopping. They go through the information on the highlights, they go through the feed, and they click that message button when they actually want to know more about what you're offering and purchase. So together, we can help you have conversations with your customers that deliver more for your business. So you and I both know you are tired of answering hundreds of DMs manually. Maybe you get five per day, 10 per day, but even if you're getting just one during dinner time and you have to open your phone, go through your messages, see what they're asking you and oh, it's an opening hours question. Ugh, here we go, answering the opening hours. And then there's another one. Hey, where are you located? Mm. The cool bit is that all of this can be changed with ManyChat automations. And even more so when you connect those automations to your ads. You can answer FAQs 24-7 without lifting a finger. You can provide buttons to purchase triggered by keywords. Imagine someone saying, hey, do you have the price for this product? Boom, ManyChat reads the keyword price, sends the price for that product with a button that directs them straight to your e-commerce. You can offer coupon codes as follow-up for your abandoned carts. The cool bit is that with ManyChat, you can even have purchase buttons within Instagram so people stay within your Instagram DMs without ever leaving the platform. This way, you can create automations that say, hey Trilce, we noticed that you didn't purchase the product. We would love to offer you an additional 10% discount. And that way, you retarget and you recapture attention for that purchase. So let's talk about a use case. Here we have a sales use case in a retail vertical. So they're using both Messenger and Instagram as their platforms to sell. On the first image, you're going to notice that we have an ad. Sweet treats to cool you down on those warm summer nights. And you can see that the image has a message now button. In this case, we are retargeting everyone who viewed a specific ad but didn't buy. So we're giving them an ad that clicks to Messenger or Instagram so they can have a cool conversation with our companies. On the second image, you can see what happens when the clients click on that message now button for Notable Food. Hi, Marion. Welcome to Notable Food. We offer a wide range of quality and healthy products for you to enjoy. Let's learn more about your style of eating. And of course, that button right there says get started. When Marion clicks that get started, which by the way, ManyChat is getting the first name of the user from their Instagram page. So you can have personalized hellos without writing them yourself. In question number three, we're going to have the automated questions guide customers to most relevant products. See how it says, great. First, do you have any preferences? And here we have meat and veggies, veggies, quick and easy. So you can have personalized recommendations based on what the user is clicking. Then on the fourth image, 
you're going to see that it says, thanks, check out this meal plan that should meet your preferences. Quick and easy meal subscription box. So the very second that Marion clicks at chosen product, she's going to be taken to the website to purchase that meal plan. As you can see in number five, it's the quick and easy meal subscription box for $70. And all she has to do is complete the information for shipping, payment, and review her order all without leaving Instagram. So let's talk about why does this work? You're not just offering a random ad on their feed, but you're actually creating and delivering a personalized Instagram direct experience. This way you can boost your sales with potentially lower ad costs compared to other channels. You're not just telling them, Hey, send me a message. You're actually guiding them step by step into completing their order. You're going to be creating funnels that send links to your payment gateway to all qualified leads. This way you save time, your customers save time and you can increase your conversion rate. So let's talk about how you can actually connect your automations to your Instagram direct ads. This we call the visual JSON. If you remember, we talked about this in our previous lesson on how to connect your ads to messenger automations on ManyChat. We're going to build one together. Okay. Awesome. So if you guys remember, we built this flow for our previous lesson and how to connect your automations to messenger. So let's go through it very quickly. We made an entry point that says, hi there, friend. Could you tell me which of these cities is closest to where you are right now? This had three options, San Diego, Los Angeles, none of those. And each of those buttons is going to direct to a different Google Maps link. And of course, if none of those, then it says, I'm so sorry, we don't have a location near you. We are expanding and I promise we will soon be together. I want to show you something really cool that I don't know if you know about. ManyChat recently added the option for you to convert your flow to another channel. So we're going to click right here and we're going to tell it to convert it to Instagram, please duplicate and convert. And as you can see, ManyChat has automatically converted our ManyChat messenger flow to a ManyChat Instagram flow. That means you don't need to do double the work, double the tasks, double the hassle to have your ads with Instagram direct and Facebook messenger flows. Awesome. So let's go back into the campaign that we created for driving traffic to Facebook messenger and as you may remember, I recommended that we don't have one campaign for two channels. So if this one is going to be messenger, what I always like to do is to quickly duplicate my campaign, rename this one to say IG, make sure that my budget is set for this specific channel. So how much money do you want to put into your ads for Facebook messenger and how much into your Instagram DM? And now we can go into the ad sets. So just to refresh our knowledge a little bit, as you can remember here, we had messaging apps. It's going to be a click to message campaign, but the difference here is that it's going to direct to Instagram instead of messenger. This is just a tip that we like to give out so you can test different channels without them competing against the other. You can have both of them in just one campaign, but I personally prefer to test them individually. We're going to set the end date for let's say the end of September. And we're going to make sure that the audience that we had selected is compliant with our goals. So here you can see it was based on people who talked to me through Facebook. So we are going to create a new one, custom audience. We will select Instagram account next. Anyone who has engaged with us in the past 365 days. And of course you have to make sure that the source is going to be the page that you want to advertise. In this case, you can see that this one is mine. And how are we going to call it? This is going to be past year IG click on create audience. And we're going to create a lookalike to find everyone who is most similar to those who have talked to me. Something very important to take into consideration when you are creating lookalike audiences is the size of your country. Right now I'm in Costa Rica and we're very, very small. <laughs> so when I'm creating a lookalike, I like to extend it to 3%, which is 137,000 people. But if I'm in the United States, look at what happens when I have 3%. That means 8.2 million people can be found that are the most similar to those who have contacted me before. So in this case, I like to go down to 1%, which is going to be 2.7 million of those most, 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 most similar to the people that have talked to me. So I'm going to click create 
if my goal is to find people in the US. And of course, we're just going to kill this one. There you go. Bye bye. So what does this mean? This means that I'm going to be targeting everyone who engaged with me on Instagram in the last year and everyone who looks the most like those people to the 1% in the US. Of course, this only makes sense if you're doing things for the United States, but change that country accordingly to your country or region. So for example, what would happen here? I have my locations that ask Costa Rica, but here I'm saying, hey, find me people in the US that are the most similar. So of course, this wouldn't really work. So in this case, what I'm going to do is create a new lookalike based on my custom audience from that Instagram to the percentage that I wanted. So of course, since I am going to be targeting those people in that country right now, it makes sense for me to find the users in that country as well. Always make sure that the information that you want to send out in your ad makes sense with the location that you have set for your advertisement. And of course, the placement, the location of the audience that you are asking Meta to find for you. Awesome. So now when we go into our actual ads, remember that we want to have at least one more and remember that we want to have a feed version and a story sized version. There's nothing techier than a company that uses their square size for their Instagram pages. So all you have to do is click here on edit. If you do not have a story size uploaded already, click on edit group, change, and you can select any of the images that you can upload as well into story size. So how do I connect this to my Instagram automations? Well, it's exactly the same as the visual JSON that we learned about for Facebook Messenger. All we're going to do is scroll all the way down here to message template and click on edit. So here you can see that it gives us information such as creating text. Hi, please let us know how we can help you. You can edit this and you can also add emojis and you can send information based on the person's profile. For example, first name. And here we have the questions. Is anyone available to chat? I'm interested. Can you tell me more? Can I learn more about your business? So we're going to change these into the location. Perfect. So I changed these to be the following. Hi there, Trilce. Could you tell me which of these cities is closest to where you are right now? Just as we did with our Facebook Messenger ads. Here we have San Diego, Los Angeles, none of those. And you can see that all those options are shown here with a send button. So this, what we call the visual JSON, connects to your automations via keywords. So let's tie those two together. We're going to have San Diego and we will go back into our Instagram version. If you want, something you can do is click publish. And I highly recommend you create a duplicate per quick reply. We're going to create a duplicate version right here. We will go into it and we're going to do the following. Remember that this that we are seeing right here is already the welcoming message and options on our quick replies here on the Gats Manager. So what we're going to do is click at trigger, select Instagram keyword, message contains, and of course our San Diego prompt, create. And what we want to do is take this little knob right here and move it over to the San Diego option. Boom, publish. You want to duplicate this. We can name this one. Los Angeles, Los Angeles visual JSON IG, just to keep everything tidy. We can click here and we're going to transform this one into Los Angeles. Enable. And of course, we need to move the little knob. So this one ties into the Los Angeles version and click publish. And you're going to repeat those steps for none of those, where your keyword is going to be none of those with the emoji. And the knob is going to go all the way down to I'm so sorry, we don't have a location near you. So that way you can have as many options as you want here. Well, not as many. I think you can only have four, but you can create the different keywords to trigger the automations based on what the person selects here. Oh, look at that. You can have five. Yeah, you can have five different options. I highly recommend you don't go over four as if you give five, this becomes a little bit too convoluted for your leads to select an option. So keep it small, keep it tidy and remember to always, always add emojis. That way the brain finds an easier, easier way to select one of the options and it increases your conversion rate. That's a little bit of neuromarketing there for you. Keep in mind that you can save these 
so you can use them later. So this one had already been saved as a visual JSON for the location on our Facebook Messenger end. The same one is working for Instagram. The only thing you need to do is create all of the flows that are going to be triggered with a keyword to send out those specific Google Maps links. You'll click Save and Finish and apply that use existing visual JSON location for all of your ads within the ad set. If you have not created one before, remember you can go and create new, edit, and fill these out to your heart's content. So what does an ad that clicked to Instagram look like? On the right hand side, we can see one done by our friend Charlene, and it's about discovering the Instagram growth hacks that actually work. This was for Instagram Summit, one of the coolest events that ManyChat has. And you can see that when the person clicked send message, the pre-written option, meaning that quick reply that we just configured together, says register three. That register three is going to be a keyword that triggers a specific flow within your ManyChat account. So let's see how that looked like. The coolest bit is that you have all of your data at a glance. So with that exact example that I just showed you, we can see that 3,200 people actually replied to that quick reply. They selected that register three button and 86.5 people actually clicked on either no more info or get your tickets. If you have buttons, if you have different paths, A-B testing, different personalized content, you can see all of that information within your ManyChat flow builder. This way you are owning every step of your marketing campaigns. Did you see how simple that was? It's all about the keywords. You need to be, of course, very creative and very, very friendly when it comes to your quick replies, but it's all about the many chat keywords. So it's so simple to do, and it's going to save you so much time. In our next class, we're going to be talking about WhatsApp automations. So basically what that means is that you can create ads on Facebook and Instagram that click to WhatsApp. So in case you didn't know, ManyChat now connects to WhatsApp. Go read the rules because you need to be very, very, very educated and very aware on all of the amazing new tools, tricks and restrictions that WhatsApp has for you to start building your first or more WhatsApp bots. So let's go into the next class and learn how you can connect your ManyChat WhatsApp automations to any and all of your meta advertisements.